The great American eclipse is just four days away now. We're not going to see a total eclipse here in Colorado. Sun will be partially eclipsed. Health specialist Kathy Walsh reports it'll be just as dangerous, though, to your eyes, no matter where you view it. It is just an awe-inspiring event to watch. August 21, 2017 will be an unforgettable Monday for Americans. The U.S. has front row seats to a total solar eclipse. Sky watchers will see the moon pass before the sun, in some places blocking it totally. In Denver? From here we'll see a 92% eclipse, which is pretty good. We will see it get darker, it'll get cooler, it'll look kind of like twilight as the moon goes to cover the sun. It's okay to be fascinated by the celestial event, but don't be foolish. Even a sliver of sun that's visible is still dangerous for the eye. Ophthalmologist Dr. Richard Davidson at the UC Health Eye Center cautions solar rays are dangerous. You can burn, literally burn a hole in the retina, damage those nerve cells and result in permanent vision loss. Naomi Piquet says she knows a man who watched through a telescope without the right protective filter. And all of that heat and light was concentrated and the filter cracked and that left a zigzag pattern on the back of his eye where he is blind there. Paquette is the space science educator at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. She showed us ways to see the eclipse safely. With a telescope, you need a solar filter. Glass coated so that it only lets through one one thousandth of one percent of the light. Punch a small hole in a piece of paper and you can make a pinhole camera. The sun is up here. It would be shining through this little hole and you would project it back onto a sheet of paper or cardboard or a wall. Most popular are inexpensive eclipse glasses with a safe film. Make sure they are ISO certified. Look for the number 12312. Dash two inside. There are a lot of fake eclipse glasses going around being sold on Amazon and other online retailers. Whatever you do, don't miss the eclipse, or you'll have to wait until 2045 for the next total solar eclipse in this part of the country. Kathy Walsh, CBS 4 News. Oh, it's so exciting. CBS News will have live special coverage of the Great American Eclipse. It begins at 11 hour time, about 19 minutes before total darkness in Idaho, and will end at one after total darkness in South Carolina. Tomorrow, we will report on the best ways to take pictures of the eclipse. Find all our reports on CBSDenver.com.